to throw it. Under pressure, swarmed under. Sack! Walker and Edwards combined to take him down. Hit. Sack! Walker gets him inside the 10. Deep. Hit. Sack! Demarcus Walker! Says, why did you let me go, Denver? Demarcus, are you having the best year of your career? Uh, statistically, you know, uh, yes, correct. Um, you know, uh, this, this, this has been a blessing so far, and, you know, to have a lot of success, you know, uh, it's been surreal because I'm a hard worker, and, and, you know, just to see the fruits, you know, of your labor pay off, start to pay off, you know, it's, it, it's surreal. Give me some players who've been that kind of influence on you. Practice-wise, when you, when you see Jeff um, practice hard, I mean, you see him running the ball, like that's, you know, you see a big guy like that moving. It's two things as, a, as an adult you can do. Either kind of, you know, match that energy or you fold. And, you know, I get, I, I get paid a lot of money to play this game, so I matched it. Um, you see seeing guys just te technique-wise and individual. I mean, Tierra Tart, definitely, like, he gonna give you a look. You know, I mean, just realistic, you know, football situations in practice and having 100%, you know, detail, effort, and the finish in it. I mean, like, that's definitely have made me a lot, a lot better. Just seeing guys like um, David when he hit Tristan Wirfs during camp, you know what I'm saying? Like, now these, these guys practice hard, you know, and I mean, they're, they practice harder than some other teams. So that made me accept that challenge and better myself. Is it true that growing up in Jacksonville, your father had to be talked into letting you play football at the age of 15? Holy, how do you get that, yo? How do you get that, yo? All right, so here's what happened, and here's the truth. In the seventh and eighth grade, I was a three-sport athlete. I did track, I did football, I did basketball, and I did track. And I played key roles in all three of those sports. And we were when we were champions in all three of those sports too, undefeated. We only lost one game in basketball, so like my dad seen me, like I was starting, I was in football, I didn't come off the field. I played every special teams in offense and defense. In basketball, my dad seen me like as the season went along, my role developed because I, my skills got better. Then track, I was the, I was our best hurdler. I was our best mid distance runner, and I was one of our fastest sprinters. So for me taking on that role for two years, I mean during camp, during the summer too, during middle school, we had summer workouts. I had to drive a beach cruiser 5.7 miles every day during the week over summer during eighth grade to go for like football training, driving to school and back. I mean riding a bike to school, where everybody getting a ride and all that stuff. And uh, my dad saw that. So when ninth grade came around, and um, he was like, no. I'm gonna let you take a break, and that was hot. That hurted me. I mean, I, I, I like grade school wise. I think that's probably like the only time where I was struggling because I just was too bored and having anything to do. And then, um, you know, uh, I'm thankful for the. I thank my dad for that day because my body needed a rest, my mind needed a rest. And when you fast forward to today, you know, um, a lot of guys was burned out from football, and that wasn't the case for me. Well, we're thankful you're here. It has been so much fun to watch you and in 2022 and uh, getting ready to go home to Jacksonville. Do you get a little fired up when you get to play in Jacksonville? You guys will see. You guys will see. That's all I can say. <laughs>